Hey there guys, I am The Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. Just another very quick one today, I just wanted to let you know if you weren't already aware about a fantastic new little way to build up your armies. You may remember the old Conquest and Mortal Realms magazines that Hatchet put out uh, last year or the year before, where you could get some really great models and miniatures at a very, very good price, including some fan favourites like the Lieutenant you can see on your screen now, which I annoyingly, never managed to get my hands on. Well, they are now doing a brand new series which is called Imperium, and just this evening we have seen a huge amount of details and pictures about what you will be able to get in it. Their official webpage has gone up, so I will link uh, the page down in the description below so you can go and check it out, uh, and if you want to, you can uh, sign up to it and subscribe already. But let's have a chat about what you can look forward to getting in these issues. So it seems like we're going to be getting 80 issues in total, which is the same as the, the Conquest, I believe, uh, the last uh, magazine they did, with a price point of £8.99 per issue. It's £8.99. With the exception of issue 1, which is going to be a very cheap £2.99, and issue 2, which is going to be £5.99. Now this sounds like a lot of money if you subscribe for the whole length of time, but it is fair to say I think this is going to be an absolutely fantastic value and saving overall, not only giving you, you know, two full armies across the 80 issues, but also a huge number of terrain pieces, paints and brushes, and other tools and useful little tidbits like that as well. The exact contents of the first few issues have been shown, and as you can see on your screen now, they seem to be really, really good value, with issue one giving you two character models which usually go for what, 15 to 25 pounds each for an incredibly cheap 299. And then issues two to four, giving you a very nice selection of Necron Warriors, Assault Intercessors, and some Scorpec Destroyers. Now, obviously some weeks will be better value than others. So if you don't want to subscribe for the whole set, you can just pick and choose and get some really great value units, depending on what you want and what you need. You can also get some bonuses if you do subscribe for the first few issues and you can wrangle yourself some brushes, a paint handle, a modeling kit and stuff like that which really does make that, you know, even that $8.99 cost seem incredibly cheap for just the useful tools you can also get out of it in addition to the models. Like they did with Conquest, you can sign up and subscribe to a premium service which costs you an extra £2 per issue. So it puts up to a somewhat pricey £10.99, but if you do that, then over the course of the 80 issues, they haven't exactly said how this is going to be sort of like spread out or whether you just get it all at the end, you know, making people sort of have to subscribe for the whole 80 issues. But over the course of the 80 uh, issues of the magazine that are going to be released, you get another four armies worth of models, essentially giving you a admittedly small relatively, you know, starter set-ish size force for Chaos Space Marines, Tyranids, Tau, and Orcs for what works out to be an extra £160. Overall, I still think that is an incredibly good saving based on what you would pay for those uh, if you bought them separately, um, and it's definitely a great way to get some extra models that you can add to your existing armies or sell them on if you don't want them to. Um, or what GW I think are hoping is that you will get these extra kits uh, for these four armies and then um, as it isn't quite a full playable one, uh, hoping that you will be persuaded to start up a new army and continue to add to them. So I think by giving out these few freebies for, I mean they're not free, you're paying an extra £160, but it's such good value, I'm hoping that that pushes a few people on to buy more Orc stuff or more Tyranid stuff or more Tau stuff, you know, and start building a proper fuller force for them. But for those of you that don't want that premium content or you just want to see what you get from the basic 80 issues, there is a lovely big image of everything model-wise which we can expect to get over the course of the issues. So bear in mind this will, without the premium editions, cost you around £720, which as I said seems a lot, but just take a look. Take a look at all those models that you get. I mean, it's not just the huge amount of terrain you can see in the back there, but if you look closely, you get Gilliman, you get Kalgar, you get some Mechanicus units, you get some Sisters of Battle, an Invader ATV, a Fire Strike turret, as well as an absolutely huge Necron force with, I mean, pretty much all of the brand new units that they've had since, uh, you know, 9th edition dropped and the Indominus box came out. 
And on top of that, it's also worth remembering that this isn't all you're getting. The £720 or so you're paying for these 80 issues to get all of these units, you will also be getting, you know, things like paint pots in various issues and brushes and dice and other tools, which may not be the most exciting things in the world to get. You know, I'm guessing you're mainly here for the models, but that will add to the savings overall and will make this £720, whilst a hefty investment from the get-go, really, really good value, whether you're keeping both these armies or whether you're selling bits on, I think you will definitely be able to uh, to to get a good full force of either Necrons or Space Marines or both um, for, for some very, very good savings. I think overall this is going to be an incredibly, incredibly good value subscription to get, and whether you go all out for the full subscription and the premium, or you just pick and choose some specific issues if you want, you know, just say some Outrider bikes or some aggressors or just some particular Necron goodies. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic way to pick up a load of brand new units at most likely an absurdly cheap price. I think personally, I will be setting up a subscription for the first few issues at least to get some of those really solid great value issues. I think especially issues one and four are going to sell like absolute hotcakes. Uh, the picture is up again now so you can see like just the sheer value you get from those two issues for the price point is is quite frankly insane. And then I will maybe grab a few more issues when things like the Eradicators or the Outriders uh, are up for grabs. It's also worth mentioning quickly, and I'm not sure when this will be coming, but there is also a new exclusive Captain model which is coming as part of this. So if you're on the lookout for a brand new awesome looking HQ model for your Marines, then I think that at least for now, a subscription to this Imperium magazine will be the only way to get him. I don't know whether he will be something that he, you know, you can only get if you do the full 80 uh, magazine, 80 issue subscription, uh, or if you can get it in a particular magazine, you know, later on down the line. But certainly I think for now, this is gonna be the only way that you can get him apart from obviously, you know, ebay when people sell him on um but i think he looks great so i will definitely be trying to pick him up if i possibly can as i said i never managed to get the lieutenant and now he goes for like an obscene amount of money on on ebay which annoys me because i really did want him i love the model of the lieutenant so i will definitely be trying to get this guy if i possibly can but that's it for today i just wanted to make you aware that this was out and you can go and subscribe and check it out uh, right now if you want to and uh, kind of decide whether you want to subscribe to it and go for the premium one or just wait and see uh, what comes out with with what particular issue but i would love to hear your thoughts on the imperium magazine will you be subscribing to the premium service and getting those four extra armies uh, or will you just be picking and choosing uh, as the issues come out and also what do you think of the Captain model? I've seen some people online complaining about him and about his pose uh, and sort of how he looks, but I personally think he looks really great. I think he looks really cool and heroic and space marine -y, so I like him, but I would love to know what you think. Thank you very much again for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more Warhammer content from me. But until next time though, I'll catch you later, guys.